Hey, welcome back. Another day, another vlog. How are we all, everyone, on this Sunday, end of the week? Back to work tomorrow, unfortunately, for most people. Um, after probably a couple of weeks off or a little bit over a week with the Christmas and New Year's holidays. Let's turn that down. Beautiful Cape Lewin, one of my big panoramic photos. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, yeah, got some good ones out of that one. Starting to get through them now. Um, yeah, look, hey, first of all, obviously, it's good to be positive and fun and all that with our channel and this enjoyable side of, I guess, my life. Um, it's a hobby for me, but there are people suffering and getting hurt and dying and yeah, it's pretty tragic at the moment in Australia. Uh, obviously the fires on the East Coast are just out of control. Um, I've grown up with fires. We used to do burn offs in the Territory all the time. This is just a totally different level. This is not fires that people can control that are just gonna burn out. This is just, yeah, it's pretty pretty insane. Uh, watching, I just watched a heap of footage on the uh, from all the news outlets to see, get the latest on it. And it's, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's still pretty bad. I don't think it's gonna be worse. Uh, getting any better today was, I think Sydney had its hottest day in history, uh, record, in recorded history. So that was not gonna help. Uh, winds as well uh, is a big factor that's really not helping the poor old firefighters. Uh, my awesome brother-in-law, Jolly, he's, uh, he's flown down from the Territory along with a, lo another, a heap of other Territory firefighters to help out um, all the guys on the East Coast. Um, so yeah, hopefully he's safe and awesome to see those guys can just, you know, just stop what they're doing. Jobs aren't important anymore. Work, business, all that shit can stop. Uh, it's amazing that these guys get out there and do do and help out people that just can't do anything, unfortunately. So yeah, uh, big shout to fo all the fireys across the nation. Um, I think they're probably we've got, I've got a mate that uh, plays in our baseball team as a fiery. I think they've uh, they've already talked about going over there as well. So uh, the fireys are a special breed. It's uh, it all seems easy and. You know, they don't do too much, but when the uh, shit hits the fan, they're the first guys to jump headfirst into a situation that I guarantee you no one wants to be in because from first-hand experience, and I've had just like a second-degree burn in my life uh, on a bad spot, I won't tell you where, <laughs> but um, it is the worst, worst, worst way to feel pain burning, I can guarantee you that. I've blown my knee out twice, hundreds of shoulder, uh, lots of pain, tremendous amount of pain, has been knocked out in fights, all that sort of stuff. Nothing compares to the pain of a burn. And these, uh, and it's the last thing you want anyone, including <laughs> including your enemies, to feel. It's a, just a terrible thing. So yeah, if you, I'll chuck a link below. Um, I don't have much money. Um, I'm sure a lot of us in Australia are probably in the same be uh, vote at the moment. It's, it's, it's a struggle. In the last year or so, it's been pretty nasty. So even 10, 20 bucks, just whatever you can. There's plenty of uh, mobs doing donations and stuff to help out the fireys and to help out the people who lost their houses and their homes and their lives. Um, I'll chuck a link to Lo, one of the uh, Australian comedy lady, I'll chuck some money in. She's raised, I think, $25 million in the last week or two weeks. So that's pretty amazing from her. Um, doesn't matter who you give it to. Doesn't matter if it's five bucks, two bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. Every bit's gonna count because the people it's going to, it's actually gonna get to, and they don't have anything. They've lost everything. Um, that's, yeah, and that's something I guess Insurance companies and that are all, you know, it's all good to have insurance and everyone's got insurance. It's a pain in the ass and all that. Um, these guys are gonna have insurance and sure as shit those insurance companies better pay these people up. Um, if they don't, they should be run out, they should be shut down as a business in Australia. But um, it's, it's still personal belongings, your photos. Um, <laughs> You know, I think last night I was whinging about, I spent five five hours and a couple of more hours today cleaning up 
terabytes worth of photos to lose them out of everything in the house which can be replaced probably those things which are memories uh, are probably the most important and you can't get them back no matter how much money you've got or the insurance company gives you so these people are going to be going through a lot um, look as i said anything five ten twenty bucks chuck it in that's probably a coffee it's not even a lunch nowadays uh, 10 bucks, you'd be lucky to get a feed in Australia for $10 nowadays. It's it's that ridiculous, a high price, it's a, uh, cost of living. So, but it'll make a massive difference to these people. So yeah, I'll chuck a link below to her. As I said, there's a million place, a million mobs doing on Facebook and Instagram and all that. You'll see them all on there. If you, if you know something you go through, chuck it on there. Definitely worthwhile. If you're from overseas, um, yeah, five bucks donated to a charity, you'll feel better and someone's life will change because of it. I can guarantee you that. And it's gonna be people that aren't dickheads or deadbeats. These are people that are bust their ass every day just to give us food on the table. They're all farmers or people that live in the country and work their asses off, uh, either making food or farming or f vegetable growers or whatever, they all, all make Australia great and what it is and yeah and these amazing firefighters as well too that is that are putting their lives on the line so if you are from overseas thank you very much uh, for supporting uh, it was amazing to see <laughs> Pink today Pink the singer that that was probably just that rocked my socks she just out of blue just drops 500 grand man like she's a multi-millionaire and that's fine but 500 grand just out of her pocket on one one disaster like i'm sure she doesn't do that with every disaster that was a massive thing um i would hope being in the mining industry that all these mining companies and i i don't want to be negative towards them but i would i would expect that these multi-billion dollar companies that just make billions upon billions of dollars a year especially in wa the the bhp the rios the fmgs they shouldn't be donating thousands, they should be donating tens to hundreds of millions of dollars towards this crap. Um, because I guarantee if the fire goes through the Pilbara and shuts and destroys all their mining operations, they'd be the first ones that would want some help. So um, I'm hoping and expecting that they're doing the same for these poor guys on the East Coast and they've definitely got the money to do it. Um, yeah, I, I expect that. Um, none, Nothing less, uh, I'd be happy to give up my bonus, I guess, for this sort of a cause and for the people to suffer. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people in BHP that would uh, do the same thing with their bonus. Um, it'd definitely be worthwhile. So BHP, if you are listening, Rio, FMG, the gas companies, the Woodsides, you all make billions of dollars out of us. Your shareholders are all millionaires and billionaires anyway. Surely they can miss out on a dividend payment for one quarter and then put all that money towards these firefighters, getting the gear they need to stop these fires. Anyway, that's it. Um, that's, before I get too nasty on it, um, but yeah, I, I think that's a good place to come at and they the plenty, they've, they've got the plenty and they should be given a bit to the few and the people that need it are, are people that deserve it. So definitely worthwhile. Anyway, next. Um, yeah, as I said, I'll chuck a link to load before that. Uh, to the one I, I chucked some money in, I said I didn't have much, so I just give what I could. And <clears throat> you don't have to, um, whatever you can do to help, helps. Rightio, now photography is a big thing on the channel. Um, it's a bit of a passion of mine. Uh, I, it's a great stress reliever for me to switch off non-stop 12 and a half hour days just in my head, just yeah, be able to just switch off and just not not hear any noise and sit there with just a camera and, and look at something beautiful and appreciate it and try and capture that. Uh, I think it's been a big difference for me and make and sort of in the last six months it's been a massive, I guess, stress relief for me uh, in my life. So I'm really really enjoying it. Um, so I just thought. Just a quick shout out to probably the channel, top 10 channels that I enjoy watching. Um, 
and I sort of put them in order in the ones that I, I really, really enjoy and watch first, and then all the way down to 10. Uh, but these are 10 channels. If you're into photography, if you're not watching these channels, uh, definitely check them out because they got some fantastic either information, uh, some awesome adventures that they go on, some amazing photography, uh, just downright funny and a different way of looking at photography. Um, so yeah, there's a whole myriad of different aspects that these guys cover, and I'll try and explain them as I go through. So I'll start with number 10, um, Tony and Chelsea Northrop. They're a husband and wife team, really switched on, they're a big, big channel. Uh, huge amount in the, I think, subscribers in the millions. Uh, very technical. Uh, the Tony's super technical guy, fully OCD, um, but knows knows his photography back to front. Very switched on. His wife's uh, a, like a portrait wedding photographer, and she's obviously got that real strong artistic flavour going through her. Uh, Together they balance out really well. I think uh, as a as a husband and wife couple, so that you can you can sort of see that she balances him and calms him because I can imagine him just being a fully manic, fully fully digital sort of a dude. So, um, but they're very very good tech tech wise, uh, skill wise. They've got some great things. They do books on photography. They've got podcasts. They've got uh, they do. F like photo commenting contests every week. It's a really good channel. If you're into any sort of level of photography, it's a good one to watch and get idea of where everything's going. Um, so they've got some great information. Uh, the next one, number nine, I've only just been got onto him lately, but he's a really different look at photography. Uh, Theora Apopothis, A-P-O-P-H-O-S, is um yeah different um very very smart guy you can see he's really really switched on he's got a really dark sense of humor and i actually enjoy that of him um he's not afraid to call a spade a spade and he'll he definitely pokes digs at all the other channels and calls if they if he says if he thinks they're bullshitting he'll say they're bullshitting um so he's a bit of a straight arrow in that regards he just seems to be like a fuji guy um so if you're into fuji definitely check him out but really good channel so far of what i've watched really good um sent a couple of comments off and he's replied straight away for a big channel he's not in the multi-millions but he, i think he's half a million or something like that or upwards uh, for a big channel like that to get a reply was pretty darn cool. So he's obviously very committed to his fan base and to his followers. So definitely one to watch. A very, again, a very technically smart photographer, very switched on and definitely something worth watching. Uh, number eight, this one's a bit of a different. Uh, David Manning is sort of photography slash video slash GoPro sort of adventure. Him and his wife do some fantastic videos. Um, it's sort of, I guess not photography as such, but it's sort of a bit of everything and a combo, but he's a, a really good presenter and he does a great job. Him and his wife uh, go on some great adventures together and they share it and it's, I think he does a really good job. He's really cool and definitely something just to chuck in your list, an enjoyable watch and something you'll definitely have fun watching, no doubt. Uh, F Stoppers, number seven. Uh, two guys here that basically do the channel, fully switched on, very smart uh, photographers, very technical. These guys are, are pros without a doubt. They know the stuff back to front. Uh, they do a weekly review, I think on I think it's weekly or monthly monthly review on different subjects. It might be weekly, I'm pretty sure it's weekly. They have a full website, they do massive amounts of tutorials, all about they do lighting, the any aspect of photography, like at a pro level or advanced to pro level, or if you want to understand a subject, these guys again, very good, very good, very good explanations. Um, but yet still down to earth and not sort of snobbish as much, I guess, as some you can't. Uh, Matt Granger, uh, 
an Aussie that lives in New York, uh, very switched on. Seems to be a portrait type um, photographer, the more I can see. I don't think he, I haven't seen him do anything too much else. He's always got models and stuff in there. But again, very super smart in photography. Um, obviously, because he's Aussie, you had to give him a bit of a shout out. So that was, had to get him up the ranks a little bit there. Um, very, very smart. Some great technical skills you can pick up from him, just learning or understanding what these guys are talking about when they when they talk about things. He, he's got a really good way of explaining himself. I don't know if that's because he's Australian and he speaks my lingo, um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on him. He does a good job. Uh, Peter Lindgren, uh, more video. He's blown up this year. He's had one of the uh, video guys that and photographer. Not really photographer, video, B-roll stuff. So he's been really good for my channel for getting an understanding of how to shoot videos and do basics in B-roll and get and plan and do stuff like that. He's a pretty switched on dude, very down to earth. I think I joined him in at about 30,000, maybe 40,000 subscribers. I was around there. And he's blown up in the last six months to over 170,000. And for good reason. He does a really good explanations of what he's doing. He, he does some fantastic B-roll stuff in that sort of, I guess, that style of Peter McKinnon. Um, so, yeah, and very, very similar, um, I guess, to that. And then probably next up, I guess, four will be Peter McKinnon. Um, I've sort of got a dual one there, Peter McKinnon and Zdenko Darula. Peter McKinnon, he's, as a photographer, he started off really good as a photographer. He, was, he probably would have been, six months ago, been number one. Uh, and I still really enjoy his stuff. But he's he's got that busy and that popular that he's just off doing these things that he wants to do. And that's great. Um, and he's doing a lot more video stuff and a lot more heavy <coughs> excuse me, heavy, heavy full-on videos. Um, so he's doing a great job there. So he's definitely good. You've got to see him as a must. Uh, Zrenka Darula, I've got to get her in there because if anything to do with the M50, that's her forte. She's the specialist in M50. Pretty much 80% of her stuff on the site's M50 related. And it's been really good for me having an M50, Canon M50 that is, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, to understand how to use it, how to get the best from it, what it's capable of. So she does a really good job. And then sort of, so her and Peter McKinnon, I've sort of put in that four basket. I know it's a double up, but yeah, it's sort of hard to split them up. I both wanted them up there. And then probably Jared Poland, I've got in number three. Uh, again, very technical, full on pro photographer. Portraits, uh, I guess he's, and then sort of, uh, what else did, would you call it? You got portraits, uh, just just camera stuff, just general camera stuff, and then full on with tech, he does the best reviews, uh, fantastic with tech updates, what's coming. Uh, he's not afraid to call out the big companies, which is really good. Uh, he's, he's pretty lighthearted, has a little bit of fun in there as well, so that's really good. Um, and does just a great, Great channel to watch, and yeah, I don't think you ever get bored on that one. No dramas. Number two and number one are new guys to me. This in the even in the last six months, but they are addictive as hell. So number two is an English guy, James Popsy, uh, works for Lumix because <laughs> uh, all these videos are sponsored by Lumix. That's how I keep remembering. But just a fun dude. Oh, uh, just yeah. Just full, got that full English sense of humor, funny, but then just comes out with these amazing images. Doesn't like tripods, doesn't do that normal landscape stuff, freestyles it wherever he goes, um, and I really enjoy his look on photography and how he's just a very carefree and enjoying the moment and getting a photo, an opportune photo. So I really enjoy his stuff. Um, awesome to reply as well. Really, really friendly, really nice guy. Um, yeah, I watch every video he has, no dramas at all, and I don't think I've seen one that's been bad. So, awesome. And the last one, number one, 
is just this is just piss funny. It is so good a channel. Um, it's called Photo Trippers. Uh, it's a couple of I don't know if it's one. It's one guy and 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 his mate, and they're both pro photographers. They're both bloody awesome at what they do. They know tech specs, the technical side and down pat. They'll explain what they're doing, how to do it. Uh, but then they just have so much fun doing it. They turn a how to shoot night stars into a full blown TV show with funny bits, cutouts, bloopers. Uh, Act, they act themselves, they get their customers that come along that are learning to get in part of the acting. It is just awesome and a must-see photography channel in 2020. Definitely get on that. There's hundreds of hours there for you to laugh at and to watch and to learn at. You'll learn something while you're watching and if you enjoy it, you'll watch the whole lot, which means you'll pick up and learn and remember the stuff that I teach. So, and that's why I love the channel. I think that probably is my number one. And James is very similar in that he makes it enjoyable. So you watch the whole thing so and you're listening. So you pick up what he's teaching at the same time as him taking the piss. So they're both really, really good. So there's my thoughts. 2020, if you want to check out a really good photography, if you're into photography or video, Check these guys out. You've got hours upon hours to watch on YouTube for your next year to keep you up to speed. Now, uh, and that, that was pretty much all out today. There wasn't much tech. I did say yesterday it was gonna be a big week. It's all starting, I think, next day or so for the CES, so nothing much else out today. Um, I took a, probably my last trip of this break today. I did it in through, I did a bit of a, Street photography, I went through Perth City and did a big walk for about three hours around the city. Um, just changing between lenses, I had the 50mm Super Takuma with me and my 16mm Sigma. And I just swapped between those two and just I just walked. Put my headphones on, just switched off from everything else. Couldn't hear a phone and just, just good shoes on, water bottle and just walked and just explored and tried to see as much of the city as I could and anything that I, that I enjoyed or looked good, um, I tried to take a photo of. So I'll try and get that video. I've got that on the list of videos I need to get out that I'm way behind on. But um, yeah, I thought, well, I've got a chance another day. I'll sh slot it in and see what I can do. So definitely worth coming out of, again, with all the rest I've got coming from this week. I've got a shit ton of video to edit and sort out. Um, hopefully I get it all done in the next, I'll be busy during work, I think. I need a couple of days off of work. Anyways, um, and that's about it. Another day, uh, glass of red for the Sunday. Uh, hope you've all had an enjoyable Christmas and New Year's holidays, if you've got first day back at work tomorrow, it's all good, breathe, take a deep breath when you get in there because it might be shit, but it'll still be there the next day. So we'll just keep, keep fighting the fight. And again, uh, if you can make a donation, uh, I'll chuck a link down below for that, the, only, the one I chucked in through. Again, there's a, uh, there's a fair few of them running around on Facebook on Instagram, on whatever means. If you see something, five bucks is nothing nowadays. No matter what country you live in, five bucks ain't gonna kill you. It's probably just a cup of coffee realistically in most countries. Um, but if a million people give five bucks, well then that's a lot of money that can save a lot of people's lives. Right -o. that's it. Another day, another vlog. We'll see you all tomorrow, Monday. So whether you're coming or going or hitting the hay. See you soon, stay safe. And you guys on the East Coast, stay even safer. Forts are with you. Uh, use fireys, bloody legends. See you tomorrow.